Hello, my name is Cameron Isis, and welcome to this installment of LubeCore's Technical Bulletin. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of the LubeCore Mark II truck time, part number 12.015. In this overview, I will discuss general operation, how to initiate a test cycle, and the in-dash test switch with LED. To begin this overview, I will describe the general operation of the LubeCore Mark II truck timer. The LubeCore Mark II truck timer has been engineered to use a variable power source of 10 to 30 volts DC. It has the capability to control the entire line of LubeCore International automated lubrication systems, as well as those of our competitors. When the ignition switch is turned on, a program countdown or pause phase is initiated. Each time the equipment is turned off, the timer stores the current pause phase status and then resumes from that point when the equipment is turned on again. After the pause phase has been concluded, the timer program sends a signal that engages either a solenoid or an electrically driven pump unit. This is the beginning of the working phase. The working phase is the length of time that the timer allows the pump to lubricate the equipment. Depending on the size of the lubrication system, the working phase may last between a few seconds or a few minutes. After two-thirds of the working cycle has been completed, the program will check for feedback from the pressure switch. If sufficient pressure for a lubrication cycle has been reached, pressure switch will close and send a signal back to the timer, indicating that pressure has been reached. At the completion of the programmed working cycle, the solenoid will close or the electric pump unit will stop. This is the beginning of the next programmed pause phase. The LubeCore Mark II truck timer is equipped with a small red test button in the timer cover. This feature allows you to initiate a test cycle with the push of a button. To engage a test cycle, first, set ignition to on position and ensure that there is a minimum of 100 psi of air pressure in the onboard air tanks. Second, using a small instrument such as a pencil, press the red test button for 3 seconds and then release. As you have seen, this will initiate one complete cycle. A handy feature of the LubeCore Mark II truck timer is its ability to perform a rapid multi-cycle test. This is a great asset when performing regularly scheduled equipment maintenance. To perform a rapid multi-cycle test, press the red test button for 10 seconds and then release. The Mark II truck timer will go into multiple cycles of 15 seconds on and 15 seconds off. These cycles will be repeated until ignition is turned off. Part of the standard LubeCore automated lubrication system is the in-dash test switch and LED. This switch, when installed, is usually located on the dash panel. The in-dash test switch and LED working together with the Mark II truck timer communicates three things to the operator and mechanic. First, when ignition is turned on, the green LED will momentarily illuminate, communicating to the operator that the truck timer has power. Second, the switch can notify the operator of a pressure failure in the system. After two-thirds of every lubrication cycle, the pressure switch will sense whether there is a pressure failure in the system or not. If there is a failure, the in-dash test switch and LED will flash and produce an audible alarm for the last third of the programmed lubrication cycle. The Mark II truck timer will record this low-pressure event in its memory for retrieval at a later date. Third, 
The in-dash test switch and LED can communicate to the operator that there is a low-level event. In a low-level situation, every time ignition is turned on, the in-dash test switch and LED will flash and produce an audible alarm simultaneously for 15 seconds. If the low level issue is not resolved, for every programmed cycle after ignition has been turned on, the LED will flash for the duration of the cycle without an alarm. This will be recorded within the Mark II timer memory. These alarms and visual notifications will persist until the pump reservoir is replenished with lubricant. In addition to notifying you of system failures, the in-dash test switch and LED also serve the same purpose as the red test button on the timer itself. To initiate a single test cycle or a rapid multi-test with the in-dash test switch, follow the same procedures as with the red test button. Thank you for joining us today. For further information regarding the LubeCore Mark II truck timer and its possible applications for you, please contact LubeCore International. Have a nice day.